Hey guys, Dylan Williamson here with another video. Surprise, surprise. No, um, I want to talk about grieving. How grieving isn't just the loss of a person. It's a loss of uh, opportunity. Maybe it's a loss of a job. Uh, for me, so I've been, you know what? I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I have not been putting in the work that was necessary for aerosol. I haven't. And so today we had a practice PT test and I failed it. Wow. Should I be surprised? Should I be shocked? No. Nope. What does that mean? Well, it means I failed. But what does failure mean? the loss of something, the loss of an opportunity to go to aerosol. But guess what? I'm going to go in August instead because I don't want to just prepare to fail. I want to prepare to win. So I was, I was like, yeah, I'm not ready. During the test, I, in my head, I was thinking like, yeah, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So, come August, I'm going to go. And I'm going to put the training in and get it done. So, <clears throat> a lot of people talk about overtraining before they even started training. <laughs> Do you get it? A lot of people talk about the work before they even put in the work. They talk themselves out of it before they even put it in the work. Do you get it? Do you get it or not? You talk yourself out of it before you even put in the work. So nothing gets done. You know what you need to do, but you don't do it. So you're just lying to yourself and to others. And so then when you fail, it's kind of embarrassing because you tell people and then they're like, why didn't you do it? You know, they're just holding you to your own word and then you don't do it. These are just my thoughts on have you fail failure? Failure is an opportunity to win another day. I don't feel like you actually fail until you actually give up. There's a difference between failing and giving up. If you give up on something like, like let's say you take a tire off of a car and you, you jack it up, you take the tire off, and it's just sitting there, and you don't put the tire back on, that's giving up. That's, that's not failing. That's not taking a break. That's giving up. Like, walking away from the tire, that's giving up. Lifting up the tire, putting it on the car, putting the lug nuts on, on the rim, that's that's continuing on pick up your tire <laughs> that's a random analogy but do you get it do you get what I'm trying to come out with this I'm trying to be optimistic and positive about the situation guys Anyways, I'm going to keep training. Don't got to worry about that. Something that was like brought to my attention today was like, so I've been training two miles a day when my sergeant was like, yeah, you should really be training one mile a day. Take a day off on Saturday or Sunday. And then the next day, do five miles. 
So, you know, you're, and I don't know why I didn't think of that before. <laughs> because, you know, me being uh, a personal trainer in the gym, like, I know what it means to, like, program and do sets and reps, right? So, if the total mileage is the same at the end of the week, then the total mileage, like, that's all that matters is the total mileage done. So, if I'm, if I'm running two miles a day, two times five is ten, two times seven is fourteen, right? So, if I'm running seven days, six days at one mile, it's six, six miles, plus the five, that's eleven miles. So, we're, we're three miles away from the goal. I'll take that. Because then the next week you go up a mile. So that first week is just practice of a mile. Second week is practice of two miles. And then every week it kind of just varies. But it's supposed to double. Alright. Well, have a good day guys.